It's always an honor to be here. Um, you know, to be here, be voted by the fans once again, to be a part of All-Star Weekend. Um, it's going to be a great weekend, and for us to be able to honor Kobe Bryant and his legacy, and, um, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful time. You know, it's a beautiful time. You know, even in, even in loss, um, it's a beautiful time. So, just happy to be a part of this weekend. Huh? Nah, I don't believe in pressure. Um, you know, if you you work on your craft and you you dedicate yourself to your to your craft, then you know you know you, whatever happens happens. So uh, I'm not a one to believe in pressure much. How you doing? Um, I just think it's always important just to give back to the youth. Um, you guys are our future. You guys have beautiful minds, spirit, energy is always high and. Um, you know, I was a young kid growing up in the inner city with not much, uh, not much resources, um, um, not much help. Um, so for me to be able to be in a position I am today to be able to give back, um, you know, to not only to my hometown, but go across all over the world and inspire people and inspire kids and inspire the youth, um, I think it's just as important as what I do on the basketball floor. I mean, I always appreciate it. I mean, it's the game that I love. It's the game that I fell in love with when I was uh, a little boy. So uh, for me to be a part of All-Star Weekend, you know, here with, you know, all the, all the fans all around the world that we have that support our beautiful game, um, I never take this moment for granted. Hey, Ron, last Tuesday, you come from Mexico. Hold on. Um... I already respected Frank just from a competitive standpoint and, and being on the opposite end when I was in Miami competing versus Indiana Pacers teams. So you, you saw how they were always prepared. Um, they were dedicated to their game plan. Um, they were always ready for our matchups every time we played them, the battles that we had versus those teams we had in Indiana. So they need to have a level of respect because it was already there from the jump. Um, not only everywhere, I mean, not only Mexico, but all my fans everywhere. Not so close, please. Um, my fans all over the world. I just try to give back to them by to continue to inspire them. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm happy to be here. Say that again. Um... Well, by, by the commissioner allowing an actual week to, to happen, um, you, know, um, you know, with that change, it definitely has helped out a lot, not only uh, for the guys that it's not a part of All-Star Weekend, um, but for, for the guys that are part of it. So I just try, I try to find a, at least a couple of days to kind of decompress and get away from the game. Obviously, you know, when you come to All-Star Weekend, basketball is going to be the main thing and the main thing only. It's what you hear, it's what you see every day. And we dedicate to, to this weekend for not only for ourselves and our family, but for the fans. Um, so after, I, I don't know, I'll try to find a couple of days after the, after All-Star, after Sunday, um, to kind of just kind of get away from the game, try to freshen back up and get ready for the, you know, the, the, the last, um, you know, run of the uh, regular season. I mean, we know um, that he's watching over us. And, um, you know, it's our responsibility to just represent the purple and gold, not only for him, but for all the greats, everybody that's ever come through um, you know, the Lake Show. So um, I don't want to, I, I really don't want to sit up here and talk about it too much. Uh, you know, uh, it's a very, very sensitive subject, but um, he's, he's, with, he's with us every day. Um, just embrace it. Um, if you have his family with him, 
uh, let them enjoy it, let them go around, see pretty much everything. Um, you know, it's not always, it's not a promise that you'll be here next year. Um, but the way he's playing, he would probably be here a lot, I, I think. Um, but I mean, embrace it because you know, like I said, I, I'm a guy who always kind of live in the moment. I don't think about tomorrow because it's not promised. And the only thing I can worry about is today and how much I can make of an impact in today. And so, um, you know, embrace it, um, have fun. It's a great weekend. It's a lot of things to do, not only for yourself, um, but also for your family and enjoy it. Yeah, he was back when, when he came back the first after the first retirement. Oh, um, it was a very joyous moment for for my community, uh, for myself, for my friends. Um, just having the greatest basketball player ever, you know, coming back playing the game. You know, I needed that inspiration. Growing up in the inner city, you know, it was like I kind of like lost the. Uh, Lost a superhero when he retired, someone that I kind of needed to help me, you know, some way, somehow, even though he didn't know it. I'm along with some other athletes and, 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 and people, but um, it was incredible. It was so exciting when he said he came, when he was coming back. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, the, the basketball world and everybody else that loved him and loved the sport was uh, ecstatic about it as well. No, I literally just got here. I literally just got off the plane and showed, showed up to see y'all. I, I, I don't know. I have I have no idea what my schedule is um, today. There's a couple of things on. I don't know. I'm, I'm here. For, I'm here for you guys right now, and I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else today after this. But I, I have no idea. <laughs> is huh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, how can you be a bad GM when you're picking 24 of the best players in the world? Um, you know, being part of Team USA has always been fun. I mean, it's it's always like you know, just to represent the United States of America, that red, white, and blue is such a it's such a pride thing. So, you know, obviously with my name being one of the you know um, you know names in the in the, in the list of uh, players that just came out not too long ago. You know, just honor even to be mentioned, um, to be mentioned. You know, so we we'll we see what happens. Obviously, I got a, a, a long season. Hopefully, I'm still left uh, with the Lake Show. So um, we'll we'll tackle that. Um, you know, after the season. Um. I mean, I don't know. I can speak for myself personally. I think uh, just having having a voice, having a control over your over your own narrative, um, being passionate about what you believe in, no matter if other people don't approve of it or, or disapprove of it. So, you know, for me, it's um, it, it was never just about basketball for me. Um, I know, you know, my inspiration, and uh, I know how many more people that I inspire that don't even play the game of basketball. So I just felt like I could give so much more than just, I guess, dribbling a basketball, you know. And uh, so I just try to try to continue to inspire the youth, um, inspire as many people as I can all over the world, make an impact um, as much as I can, um, and then uh, and, and live with the results after that. So I appreciate that question, though. My biggest obstacle in Akron? Oh, leaving Akron. As you said? Oh, my biggest obstacle in leaving Akron is leaving my family. Leaving my family and my friends that I grew up with my whole life. Um, you know, that's always the biggest obstacle. And then, uh, you know, leaving my kids. That's in my foundation. You know, not being able to see them all the time on the regular, even though I get, you know, daily and weekly updates and videos and photos and things of that nature. It's still... Um, you know, it's still tough, you know, when you're not seeing your kids in your school or you're not seeing your friends and all that. So um, you guys make it you guys make it a lot easier for me. I'll tell you that. Favorite Chicago food. Um, 
I don't know. I don't really have a, a favorite Chicago food. My favorite Chicago artist. Oh my God, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> a bunch. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Um, as a friend of mine, um, I respect what he do. Uh, I love his craft, and uh, and that's it. I don't know. I'm not done. I can't. Like I just said, I'm not one to think about 20 and 30 years from now. Tomorrow is not promised, and you got to live today. Uh, we shall see what happens. But I'm not one to think about 20, 30 years. I'm, like I said, I'm happy to be right here in the presence of y'all and um, being able to answer a few questions. Um, one, try to be better than me. Um, use me as much as you want. Um, use what I do. You can use my platform. You can use my words. You can use, uh, you know, the inspiration that I try to give. But anyway, you can uh, be great um, at doing what you love to do. You got to commit to it. Um, you can't hold on. Um, you can't want something but not put in the work. You know, and it doesn't matter what you're doing in life. No matter what it is, it could be a professional athlete, or it could be an artist. It could be. Um, a doctor, it could be anything in the world, a president of the United States. Um, but you got to put the work in. And I think if you put the work in, the results will happen organically. And most important, you got to find happiness too. You know, if you're having fun, enjoying what you're doing, then it just makes it, makes it so much easier. It makes it so much easier to just like, you want to do it every day because it's something that you really enjoy doing and you don't look at it as work, you know? So best of luck to you, kid. What's your name? Max, I like Max. That's my my middle my middle child's middle name is Maximus. So, I like that. <laughs> if I was to retire tomorrow and start up a YouTube channel, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. Cause then I would be I would be stumping on, on on my daughter, and I wouldn't do that. Nah, I would just join. I would see if I can join my daughter's YouTube channel and see if I can rock with her. And if she said no, Daddy, then there it is. Yeah, she she runs she runs the she runs the James gang. <laughs> um, I'm just having fun, man. Two guys that love um, love hip hop, love music. Um, I've been around hip hop and music my whole life. My uncle um, is a rapper. Um, he he introduced me to hip hop when I was like two years old. Um, my favorite artist growing up was Eric B and Rakim. I used to listen to Rock Kim all the time because of my uncle. So my influence of uh, hip hop and music, obviously you guys see me all the time in the car and my sprinter, you know, playing music, you know, shouting out artists. I mean, it's just in my blood. So, you know, and KD, uh, we, you know, just being together, we trained in the summertime and we had some free time after we, uh, after we would do some training sessions and we just went in the booth and just had some fun. So it was pretty cool. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, me personally, I mean, in the nineties, I, I needed more than just Mike though. Um, you know, see, I mean, in the nineties, I was eight, nine, 10, up to 14 years of age. So I'm trying to find my way. Um, I, I use Mike for inspiration. Um, Ken Griffey Jr., uh, Deion Sanders, uh, Bo Jackson, um, so many different, and then some, some people that I was just in my, in my neighborhood. You know, some people that I wouldn't tell you guys about because it's not going we'll to keep this, you know, kid friendly, but I use them from inspiration as well. Um, but, you know, I think Mike was perfect for the NBA in the 90s because, of, uh, you know, and he's just, he just it's so inspiring. You wanted to, you wanted to be like him because he was a winner and, he, you know, and you've seen the drive in his eyes when he played the game of basketball. So, you know, and you just try to find inspiration from people like that and, you know, and, and live with it. <laughs> 